Second Language Pedagogy and Open Education in Online Teacher Training Environment, a Case Study. In this presentation, I will illustrate how an open pedagogy framework was successfully implemented in an online second language teacher training course at an Italian university. The course was designed using the community of inquiry model and activities were created using open educational resources. In keeping with digital pedagogy tenets, activities were highly chunked. The service teachers engaged in flipped learning, so they carried out asynchronous activities before class. For example, they read and commented scientific papers collaboratively on Prozo, a free online platform. Pre-service teachers appreciated this activity to a very high degree. They especially highlighted the added value of co-constructing knowledge. Pre-service teachers also carried out the analysis of pre-class readings using avatars such as Vokis, that they shared with their peers on a Padlet. The service teachers also commented on their peers' analysis. Besides, the service teachers provided arguments for and against hypotheses provided by the instructor on Chialo a free online platform suitable for class debate. Preservice teachers found the activity highly engaging, but at the same time rather challenging due to the word limit. During synchronous classes, to promote the creation of a cohesive learning community, Digitally enhanced icebreakers were consistently implemented using open educational resources. Pre-service teachers claim that icebreakers help them greatly to get to know each other and thus feel more at ease when working collaboratively. Furthermore, during synchronous classes, Pre-service teachers engaged in peer instruction. Peer instruction features seven steps. First, a question is posed. Then, students are given time to think. Afterwards, students record their individual answers through a digital poll. Then, in groups, Students try to convince their peers of their choice. Students then record their revised answers through a new digital poll. The results of the poll are shown and the explanation of the correct answer is provided. Mazur's peer instruction was especially appreciated by the learners who highly valued its interactive component in a knowledge co-development and the possibility to illustrate and negotiate ideas. A high degree of knowledge co-construction was also enhanced through one to three for all, a liberating structure activity. In one to three for all, First, students think individually how to answer a thought-provoking question provided by the instructor. Then, in pairs, students share, compare and develop further the ideas generated in the previous step. Afterwards, in groups of four, 
students share, compare, and develop further the ideas developed during peer work. At the end, as a whole class, whole groups share the highlights of their collaborative work. During synchronous classes, pre-service teachers designed teaching materials collaboratively using open educational resources, including those they had experienced as learners in the course. In conclusion, during the course, the open education and open educational practices adopted enabled the instructor to foster pre-service teachers collaborative learning, critical thinking, and creativity successfully. In particular, thanks to the highly interactive and open pedagogy experienced, learners succeeded in critically engaging with the course content and peers effectively. Thank you.